Hello and welcome back. Today we're talking about prospects, but not any prospects. We're talking about what drafted prospects who didn't play in the NHL this season, who I think are ready to play in the big league next season. So I have one rule for the players I'm about to talk about, and it's that they haven't played a single NHL game. So players like Barrett Hayden, Philip Sedina, Evan Bouchard, Cody Glass, etc. aren't eligible because even though they haven't played a full NHL season, they have still made their NHL debut and played a couple of games at least. So this list is solely players that are drafted but have not laced up for an NHL game yet. They could be in Russia, they could be in the junior leagues in Canada, they could be anywhere but they cannot have played a single NHL game. Also keep in mind that these are the players that I think are ready for next season. So this isn't a list of the best prospects but rather the most NHL ready prospects. And this list is not in any particular order so if your favorite player isn't first there's no need to get angry because it's not a ranking. Alright we're ready? Let's get into it. And my first player is Bowen Byram. He was drafted by Colorado last summer at 4th overall and to be honest I actually thought he was gonna make the jump immediately from the WHL to the NHL ahead of this season. But he went back to the Vancouver Giants and had a good season until the WHL and the entire CHL shut down because of the ongoing situation. But before that he had time to win gold with Team Canada at the World Juniors. He didn't put up the most amazing numbers but he played a ton and he won gold so that's something at least. But if you look at Byram, a puck moving defenseman and then you look at Colorado with Kane Lacar and Sam Girard as two really really good puck moving defensemen. And their whole decor is just good overall. You see that and realize it's going to be pretty tough for Byram to break into that. And if it doesn't, it's unfortunately back to the juniors for him. But I think he'll get a shot at least. I think he'll play the nine game trial and then the outs will go from there. But for me, Byram is ready for the NHL. Moving on to the first of a few Russians on my list. It's Alexander Romanov, drafted by the Montreal Canadiens in the second round, 38th overall in 2018. This is a player who played the full season in the KHL and at the World Juniors, where he was one of the best defensemen in that tournament. Now a lot of Habs fans are excited about the possibility of Romanov coming over for next season and I obviously think he will. He turned 20 a few months ago but he's already played two full seasons in the KHL and Mark Bergevin also hinted almost confirming that Romanov will be a Hab next season. And I think Bergevin summarizes Romanov quite well here with these quotes. He's just a good solid no nonsense defenseman and that's what the Habs need. I don't see any major roadblocks for Romanov here. I think he'll be in the NHL by next season. The second Russian on my list and first forward is Minnesota drafted Kirill Kaprizov. And I feel like we've been waiting for this guy to come over for a few years now because his KHL stats have consistently gotten better and better and now, finally for Minnesota fans, his contract runs out on April 30th. He'll be free to sign with the Wild and I think they'll do anything in their power to sign him. He's 100% coming over next season, if he signs that is, but I don't see why he wouldn't. He was point per game in the KHL, hitting 30 goals for a consecutive season. He came third overall in points in the KHL. He's the youngest player ever in the KHL to hit 100 points. He's won the Gagarin Cup, he's won the Olympics where he scored a winning goal. He's basically done everything there is to be done in Russia and I think he's going to be incredible when he comes over. A lot of people are saying this is the best NHL affiliated player in the world. So he has a lot to live up to but I think he can and I'm super excited to see what he can bring next season because the way people are talking about this guy is making me very very intrigued. So we had a Russian defenseman, a Russian forward, and now we have a Russian goalie, and it's New York Islanders drafted goaltender Ilya Sorokin. Now this isn't really relevant, but Romanov, Kaprizov, and Sorokin are all teammates, which I found pretty funny. But let's talk about Sorokin. He's in the same boat as Kaprizov with his contract running out in a month on April 30th, and I would assume the Islanders would sign him immediately, because when you look at this guy's stats, they are insane. And Lula Marillo basically confirmed that Sorokin will be in the NHL next season, and I think it's the right decision to make, obviously. We can look at the Rangers and Igor Shesterkin and how well he's done and I don't think Sorokin will want to be worse than that. And from what I've seen with Sorokin and heard about him, I'm completely on the hype train. He looks fantastic and I think he'll be incredible for the Islanders. And it's going to be a really good addition because when you look at the Islanders goalies, you look at the Varlamov and Grice, they are getting pretty old. So getting Sorokin who'll be 25 when the next season starts is going to be great because he'll be their goalie for the future. Staying with our European players, let's talk about Moritz Seider, the guy who came out of nowhere and was drafted at 6 overall last summer by the Detroit Red Wings and played this season in the AHL, putting up good numbers and playing big minutes. And from what I'm reading and hearing about this guy, he seems to be ready and we all know the wings aren't that stacked on the defensive end, so that definitely leaves a spot open for Sider to slot in and I think he will. Obviously this goes for all the players I mentioned but with the cancellation of all hockey in all leagues, it could hamper the development of players at least a little bit, because they're missing out on 10, 15 games of hockey and that could be very meaningful hockey but Sider looks very good and could very well become a real steal for the Red Wings and his development this year is one of the few positive things Detroit can take from this season. 
Next on my list is Anaheim drafted center Trevor Segris. Now he was just signed to an entry level contract on Friday so obviously there is quite a big chance he'll be in the NHL by next season and it's the right move. He had a great season in the NCAA putting up 36 points in 33 games and he's just an amazing playmaker. His stick handling is insane and some of his plays are just ludicrous. Some people would argue that he's not bulky enough to play in the NHL yet but in terms of raw skill he's definitely ready and I usually don't watch the Ducks but if Segras is playing I might tune in just because of him because he is so exciting and I definitely think he's ready. But that's gonna be it for today, obviously there's a whole lot more players, some of you might wonder where Nils Lundqvist is and I made a separate video on him which I'll link on the screen and in the description if you want to check that out. Let me know what players you think might make the jump next season in the comments below and I thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.